busy night with all the flooding throughout East Ohio. There's still a lot of problems in a lot of the communities and we're still trying to settle up some of our problems that we've had. Uh, one thing so that I wanted to touch base on and we'll put this on the website is the fiscal officer is offering real estate tax relief uh, for the storm victims of last night and I'm just going to read you the press release real quick. It's Summit County Fiscal Officer Christine Scalise has announced the real estate tax relief will be available to property owners who have sustained damage in the wake of the recent storm. Fiscal Officer Scalise's office has taken necessary steps to provide property owners the ability to file an application for valuation deduction for destroyed or damaged property pursuant to Ohio Revised Code 319-38. The Form DT-26 can be downloaded from our website visit our damaged property, then mail the completed form to the fiscal office at 175 South Main Street, room 304, Akron, Ohio. If you do not have access to the computer, you may call 330-643-2704 to request a form of the mail. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll probably... Terry, can we just set those over in your desk and make some of these up? Some residents just want to come in here and grab it. Um, so as it, as it goes, and they give you an example. Example, your property is appraised for 100,000 by the fiscal office. Your insurance company indicates you sustained $10,000 damage to your property due to the recent storms. Since the storms occurred in May, you are entitled to a 75% reduction of the damaged amount. Therefore, your property will be appraised, will be appraised at 95,000 for tax year 2014. So then they take another 75%. Reduction of the ten thousand dollars damage, so you end up with a ninety-two thousand five hundred dollar new appraised value. So that next year your taxes will come down. Okay. Um, the other process too is we've got some forms. You have with you, Terry? Yes. Right now. Okay. We're gonna the FEMA. I'll just let you go ahead and touch base on it since you're. You want to do it now? Okay. Uh, there are two forms that the village needs to fill out assessing damage and then it's very similar. There's a, a fee schedule and I'll have all this at my desk, um, but if any individuals have damage, I'll have these forms at the counter out there and it's basically the same situation. That also too um, could help Chad, like, you know, when we get pumps and things like that, we need I know we had some stuff get destroyed last night. We were actually looking into the same thing. Okay. So that, that process there will help mitigate that. So, and, and anything we use, Sam's not here, but relay it to him on us. You know, we have Neronian Sons out there pumping right now, which runs us about a couple days, 10 grand. Um, so things like that, I think, are things that we can go back and ask for money on that, do that process. Um, I think that's enough. <coughs> I have no good news. I thought it was 88 degrees today. 60 tomorrow. <laughs> we got more rain coming up. So hopefully everybody's set. Uh, 
I, I will say, I don't know if anybody's watched the news, but we weathered it a lot better than some of the other communities have. Uh, Bath lost the whole bridge. Uh, North Olmsted, <coughs> people come out of the mall at the Great Northern Mall. The cars were, were underwater. And it was actually worse than Hurricane Katrina. That's when, it, when it was Hurricane Katrina. So it's been a rough water log. <coughs> Went from a bad winter to a wet summer or spring. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Carpenter? Uh, just one item. I had planned on having the Little Brook Street Dedication Assessment uh, resolution for tonight. Um, I got it to Gene a little bit late, and he hasn't approved it yet, so I expect it to be on the next council meeting. Engineering Service Department. Okay, uh, I do have a report from the Service Department. Uh, Mr. Speed cannot be here tonight. Uh, he just wanted to give an update on what the Service Department's been doing uh, the first week that we've had the new hires on staff. Uh, set up and removed the voting booths from Village Hall and Heritage Hall. Uh, picked up emulsion for the patcher in Akron, patch potholes throughout the village, uh, cleaned full cul de sacs in Aurora Shores, removed two truckloads of leaves and six bags of debris, uh, mowed and trimmed at the police station, removed a tree behind the police station, mowed the community garden and trimmed it and repaired the fencing, mowed and trimmed here at Village Hall, emptied the trash at both the playgrounds and the park, uh, picked up approximately 15 bags of litter on Glenwood, as well as other debris, mowed grass by a drug mart and removed litter, mowed and trimmed three cul de sacs in four shores, picked up new mailboxes and replaced cloud damaged mailboxes, removed salt uh, spinner uh, equipment and fixed the hydraulic lines on the snow plow. And then did some miscellaneous maintenance and repair to the various vehicles. So it's been a good work for the service guys. I didn't hear what that was to begin with. Was that your service department? Yes, that's the service department. Okay, and for the engineering department, uh, the Willowbrook Street dedication, the plats were recorded. Um, Paul's working on the legislation. Um, Flooding, um, obviously, in there just address that. Um, and I think you covered everything I had on here. The design status, we're down the trail, that's going up to bid this month. Um, we are uh, having the bid opening on May 30th at 2 p.m. here at Village Hall. Uh, Nautilus Trail, I actually will need to uh, talk to Try More and Get an adjustment schedule. Obviously, there's been some downtime with the weather. And as far as the building department, the senior housing plans were approved at the last architectural board of review meeting. Uh, we're still waiting on the construction plans. Uh, there has not been a planning commission meeting. And for the zoning board of appeals, uh, last night's meeting, there were um, two plans. And both were approved, both were decks with variance requests for the setback issues. That's all I had. Anybody has any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Terry. That's a pretty significant amount of work that our new service is yeah. Terry, did they say when they're going to go get the flowers, start going to bed, sit and uh, run about stuff? I have not heard about it. <coughs> Uh, and two updates, uh, actually one update, one reminder to council that next Tuesday the 20th, the uh, CMR bins are coming in. So I uh, want to make a decision on how to go through that process. Um, if you want to set up a special meeting or uh, discuss um, how to manage that. And then uh, just to let you know that Charles E. Harris, who's the CPA firm that is 2012 and 13 audits uh, has filed an extension with the state um, and believes that we'll receive it. Haven't received word yet, but the reason 
no report. So we, I think we have a report from our new assistant chief, Jim Jones. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're in place of Chief Plunkett. Um, Council and Mayor is given the report for training and emergency runs in advance. Uh, this morning and afternoon, I met with people from Ohio EPA and some kind of board of health. Um, they had a few reports that there was fuel leaks within the water retention system here, and they wanted to take a look at it themselves. So we basically took a tour of the village. By then, by the time I actually got out, most of the retention had drifted away, so they couldn't really evaluate too much. Took them down to 82, where a uh, pond broke empties out, and all the tests came back negative. They don't even really know where the reports originated from, but there was no fuel or gas in the leaks they found. We were also, with Terry, taking a look at the Ohio EPA and uh, trying to get some grants to replace the damaged equipment and also looking at the homeowners uh, to get low interest loans, if not grants themselves, to replace any home damage. Our utility vehicle, the new utility vehicle, the GMC Sierra uh, Car 7, was taken to the North Coast Radio today. The radios and light package will be installed and the vehicle in service next week, which then will free up the old utility vehicle, the Chevy Blazer for village hall use. And we have met with the Civil Service Commission here and established a test date June 26th, Thursday, 7 p.m. for the promotional exam for fire lieutenant. And one other thing, I think we had a few phone calls today in regards to people <coughs> because of the flood having their gasoline cans mixed with water and they didn't know what to do with it. And the state took a couple calls. I took a couple calls even from Conrad's. Um, People seem to think that the fire department can dispose of that, and that's just something we can do. Our suggestion is to call the, the, you know, the EPA and see what they have. Um, sometimes I believe the trash sanitation will people have certain days of the year that they allow hazardous materials to be brought down, whether it's Southern County or rubber, but it's definitely something the fire department cannot handle. That's it. Thank you. Architectural Board of Review. We met on April 28th and approved six decks and a fence, and as we already discussed, uh, we reviewed the plans from forward construction for the senior housing on Kendall Lane. And with just a little minor tweaking, uh, we approved it. Most of the tweaking was just to add a little bit more color contrast. They had some really cute names for the colors. That the building's in vintage wicker, if it's beige. You know? <laughs> and, uh, the shutters are Wedgwood blue. And we had them put a little bit of different color in the gables and stuff. There really isn't very much stone just around the doors. So we thought a little, just a little bit more color contrast would help. And they were, they were good with that. <coughs> we pushed for an entire stone building, but they said they wouldn't. Yeah. Would I know somebody would sell us some stone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it works good. No, no, extra. Uh, <laughs> good deal. Your house has more stone than this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody to blow it down. And, um. Uh, the Aurora Shores Association said that they would bring in that plot, uh, plot uh, site plan the next time we did around the garage. Has the garage been approved? Yeah, but we asked them if they, they could bring in a site plan showing where they plant a couple trees between the garage and the, the closest house. <coughs> Planning and zoning. Board of Zoning Appeals. Well, as, he, as Terry said, we did have to be approved two decks in the Harrington subdivision. Um, and according to Bob Bojek, we will probably have a number of them because of the way the yards have been, you know, the way of the land. A lot of those people just don't have flat yards to put decks on. So Can't build anything without a barrier. They're going to be giving an extra space to put more decks on. Okay. I got two feet behind my house to build. With a variance? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need the money first and then the variance. <laughs> Finance. Finance met today. We recommended invoices in the amount of $189,380.66. Our next meeting will be prior to our next Committee of the Whole Land Council meeting in two weeks. Cable? I have no report for cable. Communications. Uh, communications met on Monday the 5th. I was unfortunately out of town and not at the meeting, but thanks.
thanks to the help of uh, Mayor Sam here, we do have a new Reminder Bill app uh, up and running. So if you have an Apple iPhone or an Android phone, you can download this app. <coughs> a lot of great information. It'll push alerts out to you, whether it's weather conditions or things of that nature. Also have calendar of events, which has the meetings up here along with some of the parks and rec events and things like that. So highly recommend it if you have a smartphone to go ahead and download that. Um, we're going to continue to work on our upgrading of our website and uh, the new uh, resident kids are continuing to go out. Very good. Our next meeting is uh, Monday. Uh, I'm sorry, we have a new because of Memorial Day. That's the 28th, I believe, at 7 o'clock. Uh, one of the really one of the cool things on the app, too, is uh, if, if you drive down the road and you see a pothole, you, uh, you hit the button and it at GPS is where you're at so the service department sees exactly where the bottle is at. And it puts it right the address, everything up on it. And then it's it a little goes, button that says report from yeah. and measure that. And, it, and then it goes straight to Sam Scafini and the service department gets it. And there's a few other things we're still working on though to uh, get things straight now. One of them's gonna be so that when you go on vacation you can let the police department you want let them know. Um, there's a, a street lights out, powers, anything. There's a whole list of things that you can go through on it. But it will GPS it so that you can know and hopefully get a better response time on getting things correct. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Long term community development. Uh, number four there. Recreation. Our next meeting is scheduled for Wednesday the 21st. This next Wednesday we will be tying up any loose ends that are left for the <coughs> touch a truck day. That will be Saturday, June 21st from 1 to 3. And I was just surprised to hear from Stacy that the community garden is going great. There's only about eight lots left. I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be surprised when I run some <laughs> <laughs> What now? The oh, yeah. Uh, one of the gardeners is going to bring her rototiller up to the gardens, so anybody who has a plot and needs help with their plot, you can use her rototiller. So I'll find out the date on that, and then I'll send all the information out. What is the date of the touch and trip? On the 21st, one, one to three. That's a Saturday. May 21st. June, June, June 21st. Sorry about that. The meeting's what? May 21st. Yes. Okay, records. Yeah, records. Seniors. <coughs> Seniors had lunch today at Akira, Hibachi, and Sola. How'd it go? 16. 16 people in attendance. Not too bad. Uh, next breakfast will be May 28th at the Fresh Start in New Meadow. Jetsburg. The Jets' next meeting is the first Tuesday of June. On the 7 o'clock in Miller uh, Township Hall. That's all. Can you repeat that? First of all, the next breakfast is a Fresh Start in Twinsburg. Repeat your egg up. The, jet, the next Jet meeting is the first Tuesday of June. Not sure what that date is. Um, June 3rd. June 3rd, 7 p.m. at Township Hall. Thank you. We'll move on to the legislation now. Table of legislation, resolution 67 2013. The resolution in support of accepting for dedication certain private streets located in the Crossing subdivision, pursuing to the procedures set forth in the codified ordinances. Village of Reminderville, section 119.01. Regular legislation, Ordinance 10, 2014. An emergency order to make appropriation adjustments for the 2014 village budget, second reading. Resolution 31, 2014. A resolution authorizing the approval and adoption of the Summit County Hazard Mitigation Program Plan as a Mitigation Plan, third reading. Resolution 39, 2014. 
A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor to enter into and execute a memorandum of agreement by and between Dave Yost, Auditor of the State of Ohio, Charles Harrison Associates, Inc., and the Village of Reminderville and declaring an emergency. Resolution 40, 2014. A resolution authorizing a $2,000 dollar donation to the City of Twinsburg Recreation Department for the 2014 Rock the Park Summer Johnson Series event and declaring an emergency. First reading. Is there any old business that we have to address this evening? Is there any new business for this evening? Do we want to schedule a special council meeting on Tuesday the 20th when we receive our bids and we open them up? Bids are due when? Is it three or new? Yeah. It is new. That's a little. We can still have the council meeting later in the day. That's what I mean. Right. right. I'm good. Is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Everybody voted yes, please. I know, I like that. <laughs> if anybody wants to see the drawings from the senior housing.